you are so sweet. Such a good boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> I decided to film this because I don't think anybody would believe me. You guys know um, the aggressive Yorkie? There it is. Okay, there. <laughs> um, you guys know the aggr Harley, the aggressive Yorkie that pretty much was my first viral video. <laughs> it kind of made me famous. Well, he and I are both famous now, right, Harley? Hey, buddy. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> so can you believe how sweet and affectionate Harley is now? Oh my goodness, right? He is not the same. Uh, some people might even accuse me of finding a different dog and saying that it's Harley. <laughs> right, buddy? Oh my goodness, but look at this. He is so super sweet now. Even for his like legs, when I comb his legs out and everything, like he doesn't like it um, too much. You know, he still allows it now. Uh, remember his back? Whenever I would touch his back, he would get, he would like start biting and everything. Look at that. He's okay with it now. Look at that. Hey, Patty, can you believe this is Harley, the aggressive Yorkie? Not anymore. He's the sweet, affectionate Yorkie. Gives me kisses. Oh my goodness, Harley. <laughs> so awesome. But anyways, I just wanted to show everybody um, the power of, of rapport. You know, of building that rapport, step one, and always building upon it. Thank you, Char Thank you, Harley, not Charlie. But, you know, always strengthening that bond. And every single time that we do a groom, always letting him know that I'm not here to hurt you. You know, and I don't know. Now we get to this point where, oh, thank you. Thank you, Harley. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to brush my teeth now. Anyways, I got to brush his teeth. Yeah, um, but this, what, what is this? Uh, it's been like, what, five years now? Five, six years since I've been grooming him? Pauline says, you want his trust, yeah. Hey, Jim, my Morky has hair more like a Yorkie. Yeah, yeah, that Yorkie hair, that terrier type. Um, Patty says, oh, such a sweet boy. He's certainly come a long way, much better, great. And his skin has come a long way. He used to get terrible bumps and allergies every season. They called them um, seasonal allergies. You know, and they would give him all these prescriptions and everything. And I'm not, he might be on prescription right now. Maybe that's why he's not so bad. But I really do like to think that a lot of my grooming, hand stripping, clearing these pores, keeping that skin healthy and clear, um, I like to believe that <laughs> that has a lot to do with how comfortable he is now. You know, and the seasonal allergies aren't, aren't coming back, you know? And why? Did his DNA suddenly change? You know, like he's no longer allergic to the same things he was allergic to. You know, it's like the same grass out there. So what has changed? I really think that it's just taking that time to clear the skin out, you know, with the stripping knives even, you know, get that dead hair out. Even by going through like this, look at that, I could still get some out, even though I'm not really pinching and pulling like I should. And also the dander, I'm not sure if you can see it. See that? All that powdery, dandery stuff coming out. And you feel it along the skin too. It feels gritty and bumpy. But as all of that comes out, the skin is smooth and there's no bumps, you know? And then he doesn't have to go and take a bunch of medicines and antibiotics and steroids and all of that stuff, which is literally just sweeping everything under the rug. It's just, it's not, it's not actually getting to the root of the problem and solving the the cause, getting to the cause of why it's happening every season, you know? It's um, then <laughs> when you just mask everything, keep sweeping it under the rug, slowly but surely, it just starts to get really, really, really bad. And then, because you can't ever escape the accumulated effect of cellular damage. So I honestly believe, because I actually do give, provide him comfort, every time I groom him, he does feel more comfortable, he feels less itchy. Even though he bites me, he sees that I'm not reacting you know, in a negative way. He sees that I trust him completely, and that encourages him to give me his trust. Okay. Uh, Janet says, hey, what's up, TG, TG? <laughs> um, let's see, Janet's place. He still has those thick points on his ears. Oh, okay, you're Morky, yes, yeah, because it, it, it gets really thick around there. And so that's why you gotta kind of pinch and pull and clear those out, okay. Um, was he brushed yet or not? He was combed, but I haven't really done any carding yet. I just wanted to show how sweet and awesome he is now. Okay, 
nah, that boy, that boy is a Morky, not a Yorkie. His ears don't perk up. Okay. <laughs> awesome. But anyways, isn't this amazing? Like, oh, when you, when you guys first watched that video of Harley, would, could you ever have, a, could have, you know, could you have imagined that this was possible? Wow. But that's the thing is if, if you can imagine it, if you can conceive it, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys.